Hey, what up, what up, what up? How you guys doing? My name is Ubi Franklin. Welcome to my Q&A session. In this video, I'll be answering all the questions you have asked me on my Instagram stories, episode one. So the first question is, what does it take to succeed in the music industry as, as a growing artist? Great. This question is very, very, very personal to me because I feel like people just want to do music. It's like every other business. I'm going to use somebody now as a case study. I'm going to use Rema. I've been following Rema for the last four years and I can tell you that in the last 12 months, Rema has been moving crazy. And I'll tell you that Rema is one guy that I look at and I see that he listens, he plans and he activates. For you to be an artist in the industry, you have to be like to be self-aware of the industry you are. The information you have in the industry is very important. You don't just jump into any industry. Ask questions read books watch interviews of artists and see what they've said in the past what their success strategies have been another crazy guy i love him is black bones black bones has a strategy that i always say that if he was, he was never signed i would have signed him because i feel like he has a crazy st strategy to make everyone talking about him crazy guy he wakes up he trains when he wants to train he goes to sleep when he wants to go to sleep he keeps everybody informed i don't know maybe crazy guy that people might not really agree right will be portable i've always said this portable is a very interesting character in our industry and i follow him and i just sometimes watch what he does he's a guy that has his hat on his sleeve i've never met him but i'm sure that he's one of the guys in the industry that has the purest heart and he's a very interesting character so i've mentioned three different people and with these three different people i've mentioned you can pick from them and see that go back and look at what they're doing they have a strategy they know what they are doing. You might think that they are stupid or you might think that they are wise, but whatever you call it, they understand where they are going to. And like I always say, find your own niche, find your own madness, find your own crazy, build it into something that would get you where you want to go. Then the music will come. Some artists don't have music problem. Like music problem, I mean recording the music. What their problem is, is the having personal strategy. Don't wait for your record label to do everything. Don't wait for your manager to do everything. Also, come up with ideas that create your life. Your, it's your career, not anybody's career. Why do people tend to misunderstand you? You have the purest heart. I am for real. Well, I don't read minds, so I don't know why people tend to misunderstand me. I feel like I'm the craziest, nicest, most supportive, most loyal guy you can ever find in this world and but people will pick what they want to pick um i love me and uh, i'm very very much aware of my life my position my growth my future so i just feel like it's people thank god you said people so i can please everyone so yeah the next question is how did you conquer fears wow that's a very interesting question because um when i was going through my marriage issues back in the year um back in 2016 2017 i was so scared that I was, I was so scared about what, what, what are people saying but you see i was so scared that i was going to die i like i felt i felt like the shame was too much because people had different perceptions or, or different stories about what they felt really happened right i was my, my mind i didn't know what to do i was so scared but i kept praying and praying and this prayer i always pray i say lord may i never get to my moment and miss it and whenever i pray this prayer i always know that i'm closer to something great that phase passed and Another phase came when I was struggling with depression and a lot of things. I was always scared about a lot of things, but it passed. I prayed. I changed strategy. Now, that is one thing that is very important. Learn how to change strategy when you are scared about things. Change your strategy physically, mentally, and academically aware of your environment. It will help you. You cannot be doing the same thing and expecting a different result. What's your most treasured moment? I have a couple, my most treasured moment. On the 16th of July, 2016, I had taken my then wife to have a uh, family in, um, in America. We, we, we had gone to Grand Canyon. Uh, Grand Canyon is in America. It's somewhere in Arizona. And where we went to, right, the Grand Canyon, as you're driving, you're driving up the hill. And she was pregnant. And we knew that the baby was going to come that week or the next week. That's Jaden now. Big boy. Asking me on... All the questions he wants to ask me now. So while we're there, everything ha was happening. After all the beautiful moments with family and friends, eat, we ate, you know, we got back to the hotel. While we're in the hotel, I was tired. I was just, I, I just was, I was just about to sleep, and I heard, "Wake up, wake up, wake up!" My water broke. I'm like, "What are you talking about?" You know? <laughs> and um, I woke up. 
and I called um my, my brother-in-law. I was like, hey, listen, listen, listen. Her water broke. Let's go. Let's go. And let me tell you the, the, the crazy thing. We drove from where Kuran Kayan was to the hospital. We drove like almost two hours, 30 minutes. It was the grace of God. We got there and then it was a time for her to have a baby. It was, was beautiful. I treasured that moment because, you know, it's a moment you can never, any man who has been in the labor room, you can never, ever forget those events. It's very, tre I treasure it a lot because it was very interesting to see my small baby, seeing his head, I was looking at his head. Oh, that's him, that's his head, that's his head. And see him come out and today, carry him for the first time and today seeing him a big boy. It's very interesting to see. So yeah, someone said, this question is very important. Someone said, does having plenty of money give you peace? I don't think so. The more money you have, the more responsibilities will come, the more things you want to do, you know, the more problems you want to solve, you know. So I don't think um, having more money gives you peace. Someone said, if I could give you advice to sign any artist, will you accept it? It depends if the artist fits into the skill set or has the kind of vibe or has the kind of music that I think I like. That, why not? I'll do that. I knew that this, I would never escape this question. Say, so, do you think you will ever get married permanently? Yes, I will. I will, definitely. I will. What's your take on the fuel subsidy issue? This is very important. I think fuel subs subsidy has to go. Most of the people, cases that we've heard in the past about fuel subsidy fraud, if our president, commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu has said that this has to go, and the previous government, of Buhari has said that they put an end to full subsidy. From what I gathered in the budget, the current budget, there was no there was no provision for full subsidy. NMPC are saying that the federal federal government or is it the federation is owing them money for the monies that they've used to subsidize for from February of 2022. So if you look at this thing, it's best that we know that nobody is owing the, each other and we are not budgeting trillions of naira on full subsidy. It's the right move. Someone said, um, when are you getting married? I want you to settle down. I know you make a good husband. Oh, I'll definitely make a good husband. I'm actually, a, I, I was a good husband. So, and definitely, yeah. If you, if you, if you are going to apply as a wife, please apply with him, please. <laughs> someone, so someone asked, who was the first artist you ever managed? My first shot at management was showing Kaz Afro. You know, at Jebota, at Jebota 22, you know, they were a group Ajibota and his sister, they were singing. They were called Shrinkers Afro. Sister's name is Temi. That was my first shot at management. Then after that, I became PA to Julius Agu. After that, no, after that, in Yaya. But while I was PA to Julius Agu, I was also managing Ike Chuku. So when he talks with Ubi starting again, it will, it will come up. I've been busy, man. And I don't like to do half hard work. I like to do it very, very perfect. So it's going to come back. It's going to come back as uh, the industry conversation. So we're going to be discussing about, but like, the music industry, the film industry. Uh, we're going to be discussing about the real estate industry. We, 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 so we're going to be discussing how we, all of these industries connect with themselves, right? You know, why it's very important to buy a property as an artist and all of We're just going to connect it. So it's going to come, but I just need some space to think about it, relax and shoot it. Yeah. Um, how is Jaden? Jaden is very fine. Jaden is very fine. Subscribe to my YouTube page. I would like to know your I'd like to see your comments. I'd like to see what you think about this video. So whatever it is, I feel like it's an opportunity to engage with you. You get to know me better. So stay tuned for the second episode. It will be engaging. I might bring on a guest and we'll ask ourselves questions. That might be interesting. You know, no, you know what? I'm not going to tell you that. I'm not going to tell you the, the guest, but trust me, stay tuned for the next episode. It's going to be very interesting.